And my premise is that the long side needs to chew their way higher and it's targeting that 37 and a quarter, 37 and a half, up in here in this blue line. You know, that, that would be a substantial target for the longs to try to get to and, and obviously challenge that breakdown from yesterday at that 38 and a quarter. And that's T1 today at 37 and a quarter. That's why <clears throat> I mentioned that. The plan today, we said, was obviously to <clears throat> look for longs today as better odds. Does not mean it's a walk in the park to just close your eyes and, and buy. But that was our premise. And these little head fakes just below IB are designed to trap a few of the late shorts and then squeeze back. All I can say is read the criminal handbook. <clears throat> Going to take time to get out of Dodge, but that's the game plan today is try to <clears throat> squeeze back and get into the pocket of some of the shorts. Taylor Day 3. That's been our premise. Correct? And you can see the <clears throat> long side trying to defend their turf <clears throat> and push back into some of the territory that has been lost this week. And again, suggesting to longs, <clears throat> it's not gonna be done probably in one straight push. It's gonna be hit and run both sides. There is no demon right now, but we are coming into a neighborhood that should show some respect. Okay, anybody that is, we're looking at the resistance box, right? So make sure that you are paid coming into, let's see, it's about 11 o'clock-ish. We're making higher highs, higher lows. We're taking a look at this last spike up here at the end of the day yesterday near 34. Got to get above that, and then we've got some running room. <clears throat> 